We have a uh, 1982 General Electric uh, boombox color television. This has got a little 4-inch color TV screen. It's got a cool ejectable micro cassette stereo recorder player, which you can you take out and use as a Walkman. You notice it's got a connector thing on the bottom that mates to the connectors inside so that you can use it in the main unit like that. And it's got an AM FM stereo radio and it runs on uh, a whopping, I think it's 15 D batteries. <laughs> a little uh, not so economical. I have it running right now off of a car battery on the uh, going into the uh, AC input jack. But it's got a really nice picture. The color is very good. Uh, I don't think this thing got much use. I don't think any of these ever did. Um, they were not economical. You know, my cable system still gives us analog broadcast reception. And I have a, I don't have the adapter, so I've got a, uh, a clip lead just hooked up to the center terminal of the cable. So it's not the best picture it could be, but it works for the purpose of demonstrating. And this is uh, what I call quasi-cable ready, in that uh, if you can tune this, it has electronic tuning, so if you tune between the VHF and UHF bands, which it has auto-search, you can get the mid-band cable stations to come in. But it's a novelty more than anything. But uh, it works real good. And uh, what I can't believe is that I just got this off of eBay, and I put in just the opening bit on it. Now, they advertise it as non-working. Uh, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it that I can see. They said they tried batteries. They never tried an AC adapter. Now, granted, there may be a problem with the battery part of it. I haven't checked that out yet. But if it is, it's just the jack. The uh, the AC adapter jacks on these, the uh, they come loose from the PC board, and it's a very common problem. So that's probably all it is. But uh, there's nothing wrong with this thing. And I got it for the opening bit of $9.95. <laughs> and even the tape works, you can see, I don't know if you can, I don't think there's anything on the thing, but there's no uh, information on it. And you put it in tape here, and you can see the little reels move, and uh, the radio. Needs the volume control cleaned. Oh, the AM is hot on this. It's amazing. And after September 2014, oh, the AM is great. This would be a great ca uh, candidate for conversion to AM stereo. Uh, very nicely made. These were manufactured by Sharp. As far as I know, these were manufactured by Sharp. I don't know how this camera's picking this up, but this green is really nice green. Um, it looks blue in the camera. I think that's just the way the CCD picks it up. But uh, this is a nice little set, and it was a bargain. Everybody likes to get a bargain. Well, this was a, no exception, and that's it. So I don't have to do anything to it. It's just a just show and tell. That's it.